Hey Terrence, I'm going to go over your trailer. I don't know why uh, it went so long for this. You know, once I grade the thing, once the class is closed, I'm out of there. Uh, so you should have informed me that you were still putting stuff in. I don't know why you let it go for two weeks almost. Um, but anyway, here's the, I don't know about your grade either. Uh, at this point, going back to the grade change. Could be done, but I don't understand why it was late and why you didn't get in touch with me and why you haven't gotten in touch with me since. But anyway, for the work. Beyond the drill, 1080 HP, two minutes. So there's a good time lapse at the beginning there. Okay, so we get a high school feel. Your sound is low. Sort of focusing, trying to get focus in there at, his, at the teacher's shot. Got a nice cast of actors here for you. So you have to be a little bit more fluid with your camera movement there following him. Good movement there. Raise your shutter. Fight seemed to work. Good sounds with the fight. It's all dark in here. Car comes up. Locking of the door. So, you know, it's fairly close to uh, what your pre production was, I believe. So, it's a good time lapse there. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. The clouds are moving well. The, I know you were concentrating on that. I would have tilted down just a little bit to see more of what's going on in the street here. Maybe lights coming on, stuff like that. But the clouds work fine, time lapse. This shot, you know, the shot and going through the window, you know, it's, it's either the screen or whatever um, that's manipulating your image to make it softer. Um, it's an interesting shot. I liked part of the, seeing the part of. I actually liked seeing part of the window itself used later on, but when, you, when you're shooting through the window and it's lesser quality, seeing this, I would have liked to see more of this because that gives, I know it's of, through the window, but when you see more of the window itself, the window frame in there, it gives you the illusion that you're looking through the window because this, obviously this footage is not, it's very, it's very faded, color cut, Temperature isn't right there, but it gives you a cold, hard feel to it. High school shots; these are all these all work. Going in out of focus there is fine. You know, looking for shots and going in and racking focus here and there is good. In this shot, you know, I would have, I would have liked to see you down in there, headroom wise. There's not much going on up here. This is where your interest is with the kids down here. I think you would have, I would have tilted down better. I want you to use this whole. This whole frame when you're 16.9. There's great. See, there's great. A little soft there. These little pushes in, these little zoom outs and things, that's a little annoying. Again, now you're back here with a lot of headroom. That's a better frame on them. Here are your focus. So you're looking, your focus is going in and out. You know, if you're going to be in a position, you want to get into a position, you want to zoom in, focus, and then zoom out. Once you zoom in, if you don't move and he doesn't move, the focus will stay the same. For documentaries, it's really hard. 
I almost rather see you physically move in than trying to zoom in and get something because if you're moving and he's moving and everybody's moving around, zooming in and getting the focus, you're going to miss that part of the dialogue, which is obviously you zoomed in for because you wanted to get that dialogue. Exposure is very good in here. Uh, it really works. And, um, you know, your color temperature is good. It's right on. This is bluish, which it should be. All these shots work. Nice frame here with reflections. So it's good here. I mean, because it's they're moving around, you could be moving around. Again, I would shy away from the zooms because the focus shifts. But moving around with them is good. You like to do these little zoom outs. Um, sort of disturbing. It's okay on a small screen, but on a big screen, that's going to look really jumping around more than anything. This shot works. POV of somebody we don't know. First time your sound is good. You had to keep up with him. He moved a little bit too fast for you. Then we have all this stuff in here. Now this is, you know, I guess the lights are supposed to be out now. They weren't out before. And, you know, the lights went out. He had, you, he had him turn out the lights here. So it's darker in here, inside the room. This is still on the dark side, but this isn't that dark. This look, kind of looks like there's more daylight coming in there. This one as well, it's not matched. I don't know where this room came from, but it's dark going through the downstairs. These windows are blown out, but that's kind of nice for that shot. Now we're back in here. The fight thing is so at a slow, such a slow shutter, you don't know what's going on, but the sound carries it through nicely. Now we're getting. To, now we're back to darkness. Probably because it's your slow motion. When you have your slow motion in there. You do the shutter, then you do the slow motion. You realize that when you do slow motion, you're going to need more light in there because you're running at a higher frame rate. So if you're 60 frames per second or whatever, the you're going to need more light to get into your sensor. So there just might be, probably wasn't enough light in there to get that shot done. See, there we are through the window again, and that through the window works here because now we're seeing more of the window itself. Okay, So that's, I really like that image there. It's a good one. We have this. We don't really know what's going on. And then this, this shot here is just out of focus. Totally out of focus. And never really gets into focus, does it? So even if it's going to be rough camera work because there's a riot or there's whatever is going on with a shooter and this and that, that doesn't call for out-of-focus footage. Everything that you want to shoot should be in focus. Okay, so that's it. Any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. I'll speak to you.